Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash back with another valuable, valuable video for you. Now, a lot of you had a whole lot of questions about the HTML, saying your pages is all jacked up and you want to know how to fix it. Uh, so let me show you, uh, first and foremost, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to use uh, this page right here, this movie page, right? I wanted to use this as a for content locker or whatever. Uh, Let's say I wanted to do the view page source, right? Control A to, to copy the whole thing. You know, hit that copy. I wanted to come to my uh, URL file locker and paste the HTML right here. Right? We refresh the page. And the crazy thing about this, when you refresh the page, it shows up. Right? Dang, it keep cooking off. My bad, y'all. All right, so it shows up, right? Everything shows up perfect. But when you create and then you go get your link, nothing happens, right? Or it only shows just a little bit. So let's say I get this link right here and I copy it and then I open up a new window and I paste it at the top. This is all it gives me right here, right? Nothing else is here or some of y'all, some of you guys is a blank. And you're not getting any, you know, or your HTML is all jacked up and stuff is all out of whack. So uh, I did some research for you guys. Well, some of this stuff I already knew, but just a little bit, uh, you know, more into detail on certain things. What you guys can do to always be able to get you a nice page uh, is the different route that you're going to have to go. All right. So, for instance, if whenever you get on a page that you want to lock right you can try it the view page source way or the inspect element way and if that doesn't work this is something that you're going to have to do now you have two options either you can rebuild this page by yourself using like lead pages or weebly with the screenshot method that i showed you guys before or if you want the actual website what you have to do is right click keep giving me this pop up right click click save as right and then you would save it you would always hit dot and then put HTML, right? Always put dot HTML and then save it. And it will give you a notepad looking thing like this, right? So I'll resave it. I'll resave this one, right? And then I'll, I'll go ahead and click show in folder. And then you want, when you get the, you should get a little notepad or something like this. You want to right click it and then click open with. And then click Google Chrome or Internet or however you want to use it, right? Bingo. So now you got the entire website. Still giving me pop-ups. All right, now you got the entire website at your disposal. As you can see right here, this is no longer the, you know, website uh, URL. So if I click to the actual website, you see it's still 123movies. But this website is completely uh, editable, right? So this website is actually still tied to 123movies. One, even though the the code here is still uh the URL is not you know the exact URL is still tied uh to the actual website. So for instance if I was to click on this right let me see if I click on this see it's going to give me the actual movie still. But it's a lot of different things you guys can do with this, right? Now, if you don't want it to, if you want, uh, if you don't want it to actually give you the movie and you want it to maybe pop up or something like that or go to a redirect to an actual, uh, you know, locker, you can do that. So what do I mean by that? So let's say they clicked on this and then it redirected them to a Weebly page and it said, if you want to watch, you know, yesterday, uh, you know, click this link or something like that. If you wanted to do that, you can do that and I'll show you how to do that real quick. You can, you know, we already know the inspect element, so you right click. Well, let me go back because it didn't let me do it. I don't know. Right click on it. There we go. Inspect element, right? So this is the forward link right here. So you would just right click, click edit HTML, and then you can remove this link. Well, I will just keep the HTTPS and then just add whatever website. So I'm just going to put like BET.com just to show you that it'll redirect to something else, right? So now when I click on it, it should go to BET.com. Bingo. See? Right? So you can redirect that to wherever. And you can actually go through. Let me go back. You can actually go through each. If that's something you want to do, you can go through each movie and redirect it somewhere else. 
if that's that's completely up to you i mean you guys brains will you know figure out what you want to do with that but that's something else that you could do right but now that you have this entire website uh like i said you can make changes to all of this you can delete these ads you can redirect everything and now you have a complete you know dope landing page that you can use right so another thing that you guys need to do is eventually you're going to have to get this online because you can't use this right but after that another thing that you could do is let's say let's me let me exit out of this let's go here i'll click show folder again i'll go back to the actual website and this time i'll go ahead and open it right and it'll open in the notepad okay so it gives you this big ugly code right here guys and what you can do is you can go to C cpa grip you can go back to your if you want to do a content locker method you go to content locker instead of using the url locker right uh and then i'll get this code that i normally use i'll get this code here you can copy this code and what it says is put it after uh or and before the in the middle of the head so you do head and then put this code in the middle and i'll show you guys exactly what they're talking about so you click copy right there and then we go back to our code now if you can't find where head is you need to click and then hit control F now I'm on a PC so whatever control F is for you or command F on or yeah I think it's command F on Mac uh, then you'll just put H E A D and then you'll find next right They'll have some down here, but the one you want to find should be up here. So you may have to do this right here. Bingo, and then bingo. Then find it. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so you may have to put up because you want it at the top, and it finds it right here. So what you do is you will put your locker right here. Now, you can create whatever locker you want to, but what I usually do is I usually do enter a few times just to knock this down so I can have some space so I'll know what's going on and then I'll put the code I'll do a space and then I'll just go ahead and paste the code that I just got right there and now if you want to you know move that back up some it's completely up to you right for this purpose I'll just come down one more and then all you have to do is go save as and then just click save and then click yes right so now it's going to save it so now a content locker will be added you know to the uh website so let me go show folder right click open with google chrome the website will pop back up okay and the content locker should pop up in about six seconds so now they can still click on movies and all that and bingo content locker comes up now they can't click on anything right so now you have this this uh website locked. You could do that all day, right? But then you'll need to upload this. So how do you upload this? How do you use this code and upload, right? What you have to do is you can copy this code, or you don't have to copy it at the moment. You just go to hostgator.com, right? Uh, click get started. Normally, I would recommend uh doing unlimited domain, so it's like three dollars a month or something like that. I would recommend clicking this one because you can upload mo as long as you have the domain name you can upload unlimited you know websites uh, pretty much for just you know a small price right so you'll click you know on the buy now then you'll put in whatever domain name you want so for this I'll put movies galore and then I'll see if that works for me they'll let me know Okay, so that one, I'm going to say uh, for life or something. See if that works. Bingo. So it works. Okay. So $12 a year. Okay. Now, when you get here and you scroll all the way down, they're going to, you're going to have this section here. Now, of course, we got the baby package. So, I mean, you could choose to how many months you want it if you only want to use it for one month. Uh, completely up to you if you want to end up using the uh, host gator to host multiple sites you can do it you know long term completely up to you have whatever you guys are wanting to do right you need to create you know your username and security pin and all that kind of stuff 
and then uh, of course put your information in here to pay for it but then down here they're going to try to give you all these upgrades and all that stuff you don't need this so pretty much just uncheck everything unless this is something that you want on your website most of the time you don't need it uh, and then let's see I think it's one more thing I think okay they should give you sometimes they usually give you a code okay so your total if you do 36 months your total will be 180 now if you only want to do one month which is kind of just to test it out see how it works for you then your total will be pretty small right your amount due forty six dollars but it may be one more upgrade that I need to take off if I can find it because I usually have you everything all this additional stuff clicked so let me see if I'm missing anything what is this add privacy I don't know what that is yeah so it went down so if you don't need the privacy to your domain you could take that off and it may be one more thing to take off uh, let's see Cause so they you can so you gotta kind of browse through here slow. They have a lot of different uh you know things that they'll try to get you on uh, if you don't you know be careful. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. So after that, you know you'll go ahead and check out. They'll send you an email with all your information, uh, and then after that, you're just gonna need to get uh, FileZilla. If you're on a PC, you can do FileZilla, or if you're on a Mac, I forgot exactly what it is. But I'll also link two videos. Uh, that I watched, you know, showing you how to upload, you know, that information to your website, guys. But that's pretty much it. And then, uh, what after that, you can pretty much upload any, you know, content lock sites or however you guys want to do it. But that's one way that you guys will be able to do that. So, last thing, let me go back to this. Like I said, I'll refresh it again. Let me see if I can go back to it. So, this is what the website looks like. Now, if they click fast enough, they'll actually be able to still click on a movie, right? So, if you want to set your locker to a certain uh, amount, so let me go to edit. My tease time is at six seconds, so if that's, you know, too slow, or if you want them to get enough time to actually click, uh, you can do that, or you can do the on-click method. It's completely up to you, but uh, if you want it to happen pretty fast, as soon as they click on the website, do you can do like two seconds right now I'm not sure if I got to redo that code but if so I'll go ahead and redo that really quick just to show you guys what I mean by that so I'll show in the folder I'll open this up and then right here uh, where my code is I'll go ahead and move that and add the new code right and then I'll go ahead and move this down click Save right and then it should pop up a lot faster now so let's see bingo so yeah in two seconds now it pops up but yeah so that's all you would have to do I'll like I said I'll leave two videos uh, below that you guys can uh, reference on exactly what to do after you get your host gator to upload it uh, you know to the internet so that you could do that and hopefully that helped guys and that will kill your HTML problems if you're having problems on the uh, URL locker and uh, this is a different way to do it now if you don't want uh, to do the where this pops up if you just want to do it regular you would have to do the on click method and I've already went over that in another video I think it was on the one I did the Avengers on so you may want to go back to that to uh, look at how to do the on click method but that's pretty much uh, it, guys. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Uh, if I helped you out, let me know. Uh, and just, you know, everything, all my information is below to contact me, guys. The course is below. All kinds of different things are below. So, uh, yeah, hit me up. Peace.